NG Desk Knowledge Base is a dynamic tool that allows users to create custom solution articles that promote self-help in your support portal. These articles should address specific customer concerns and enable customers to seek resolutions to their problems. NG Desk provides you with the option to activate or deactivate the Knowledge Base feature. To activate the Knowledge Base, navigate to and select Company Settings from the sidebar. Under Knowledge Base, click on General Settings. Check the box next to Enable Knowledge Base and then click Save to enable the Knowledge Base feature for your company. Before you start setting up your Knowledge Base, it is important to understand how it is structured. The NG Desk Knowledge Base is categorized into a three-level hierarchy, made up of categories, sections, and articles. Categories assume the top level in the Knowledge Base and should be used to broadly classify your Solutions page into groups of related content. Sections within each category are subheadings containing related Knowledge Base articles. Sections make it convenient for users to read similar articles and find other possible solutions to their problem. And finally, Articles. The specific solution articles inside each section that aim to guide the users on how to use the various system features, troubleshoot issues, and provide solutions. It is important to note that each category must contain at least one section and each section must contain at least one article. Step one in setting up your knowledge base involves creating a new category. To do this, navigate to and select Knowledge Base from the sidebar. Click New in the top right corner and select the Category option. Give the category an appropriate name and provide a brief description. In the Source Language field, select the desired language from the drop-down list. In addition to English, NG Desk Knowledge Base supports 11 different languages. Then, in the Visible To field, select the users or teams from the drop-down list that you would like the category to be visible to. If you want the article to be visible to any user, select Global and Public. Click Save to create the category. Step 2 involves creating a new section. From the Knowledge Base Work Panel, select the relevant category, then click Manage Category in the top right corner, then Add and Section. Under Create Section, enter a name and a relevant description. Instructions on understanding and getting started with tickets. Select the desired source language from the drop-down list of supported languages. Then, select the relevant category that the section will be under. Choose the teams or users to whom this section will be visible and, in the Manage By field, select the teams or users who will be responsible for managing and updating the section. Finally, choose a Sort By option from the drop-down list and click Save. The third and final step is to create a new article. From the Knowledge Base, select the relevant category and then Section from the Work Panel. Then click the Manage Section button, Add, and then Article. Enter a title, then go ahead and draft your article. Use the editor to format the content of your article. The editor supports several formatting options such as text formatting, inserting tables and images, and creating hyperlinks. Toggle the Publish button to enable publishing. Select the source language and under Publish and Section, select the section under which you wish to list the support article. Choose the teams or users that the article will be visible to. You have the option to enable or disable users from posting comments on the article. Check the box to allow comments. If you would like to display the author of the article, select the relevant name in the Author field. You can add labels to the article in the Labels field, Labels are keywords that you would like the article associated with. Click Save and the article will be available in the Knowledge Base within the defined category and section. If you have any questions, please contact NG Desk Support.